is Rashmi, first B.Sc. Maths from Mahalakshmi Mills College of Arts and Science. I am going to do a book review on my favorite story, The Selfish Child, written by my favorite author, Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde is an Irish poet and a playwright. After writing in different forms throughout the 1880s, he became the one of the most popular playwrights in London in early 1890s. Come, let us get into the story. Once there lived a giant and he had a beautiful garden, but he had not been in that garden for a while. Every afternoon after school get over, some children went to play in that garden through a big hole on the wall of a garden. The garden was a wonderful garden which was large and full of soft grasses. Flowers all bloomed pink and there were 12 peach trees. Only in the autumn, the trees gave rich fruit. The birds also loved the garden and sat on the branches and sang happily. The children too enjoyed them and they sang along with the birds. But one day, the giant returned. He had gone to visit his dear friend who lived far away. After seven years, the giant returning to his beautiful garden. When he came back, he saw little children playing in his garden. He shouted at them angrily and the children got scared and ran away. And the giant said, that is, this garden belongs to only to him and will not allow anyone to play in his garden. The next day onwards, the selfish giant started building the hole on the wall. So it kept the little children away. He also put a notice board, trespasses will be prosecuted. Now, the children were so sad about to play on the garden. Soon spring came all around the country. The trees bloomed and the little birds sang beautifully except giant's garden. It was still winter in the giant's garden. The birds did not came, grasses started dying and the flowers did not bloom. Now the season became snow and frost. The snow covered grass with white blanket and frost painted silver on all the trees. The giant started thinking why spring has not come to his garden by sitting a window every day. He felt sorry for his garden and he prayed to change the weather soon. The snow, frost, everything came except autumn only in giant's garden. One morning, giant was still on his bed. He heard a beautiful melody. He thought it was king's musician, but it was a linnet. Hail stopped, snow frost were gone. The giant suddenly felt the flowers blooming. Spring has finally came, he excited. Outside his window, he saw his the garden was alive again as the children were jumping into this garden. Giant ran out into his garden. Every children's cat and ran away when they saw the giant, except one. It was a little boy. He was trying to climb up a tree, which was on the farthest corner of the garden. On seeing this, giant walked up to the child. The child did not see the giant as he was crying. The giant helped the little child to climb up on the tree. Suddenly, the trees blossomed. The little boy hugged the giant tightly for helping him to climb the tree. Giant realized how selfish he was not letting the children to play in his garden. The next day onwards, he let all the children to play in his beautiful garden. The giant to play it along with them. But the little boy alone not came. The giant waited for him. Giant asked the little children about his little companion. They told him that they did not know the boy. The giant became so sad, but he continued playing with them. Daily, the giant hopes to wait for the little boy to come to his garden. Years went. Giant became old and feeble. He was too old to play with the children, so he was watching the children playing through the window. One winter morning, he looked out of his window. Giant was surprised at what he saw. In the corner of the garden, a tree was blooming. He rubbed his eyes and looked at it again. The tree was blooming, which was covered with lovely white blossoms and golden fruit hanging from its branches. And underneath the tree, the very same boy whom the giant had been looking for stood there. The giant quickly ran outside. As the giant came near the child, he became furious. He saw nail marks on the child's palms and his tiny feet. Giant became so sad and anger and asked the little boy who dared to hurt him. The child peacefully looked at the giant and said, 
you let me play in your garden once today you shall come with me to my garden to paradise that afternoon when children came running into the giant's garden they found that the giant was lying underneath the tree the giant was dead with a peaceful smile on his face covered with beautiful blossoms moral of the selfish giant story is happiness through true love and selfishness hope you could enjoy the story thank you for the opportunity